Greetings, I am Goldenway, and welcome back to Let's Play Space Engineers, Episode 9. So, I'm just getting started here today. I got to working on our domes, and I wanted to show you how, how they came out. This one's coming along pretty well, I think. I did finally make up my mind as to how I wanted these pillars to look. That looks pretty nice, I think. Not totally happy that these side windows are uh, not mirrored like that. I'm, I'm still still have to look around and see if I can find a mirrored version. There probably is one. I think I'm just using the wrong one. But that's okay. So then it's helped me put that together. So that's pretty cool. We'll finish up, uh, or at least get the walls around the, uh, the hangar building there. After a while, I think I'm going to move the antenna there, that green antenna. I don't know, maybe on top of here? I'm not sure. I also built a little light. I was working in the dark, and uh, there was no light around the, uh, the landing pad, so I just built a little, couple of little rotors and stuck a light on there. It seems to work pretty well. It doesn't have to move, so what else did I do? Oh, I uh, went through all of our upgrades. So, all of the assemblers now have speed on them, all the way down. And all of the refineries have their yield modules, so that means they'll, they'll get a little more. Um, and I added some cargo containers um, up top here for, uh, for ore, so that's pretty cool. That is not what I want to work on today. Today, I want to work on laying the keel for our first real ship. So we built a couple of ships. We've got uh, the drill ship over here, and he works pretty well. Um, but he's got uh, atmospheric thrusters on him, so he's not going, he's not going anywhere outside of Atmo. Uh, we also built this little guy back here, who's been kind of torn apart for components along the lines. Uh, so why don't we just go ahead and grab a nanite beacon here and we'll get a deconstruct beacon. We'll toss that on there and uh, the nanites will go ahead and uh, tear that apart for, for components for us. We really don't need him. Um, so we'll let them get to working on that um, and we'll come over here and take a look at what I've gotten laid out here, which is pretty much just a platform. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put a repair beacon on this. <clears throat> there we go. So that'll let the nanites know uh, that they can repair um, this this structure. So they'll go ahead and weld up just a little basic platform that I've laid out here. I don't know that this is really going to be part of it. I just Sort of needed something off the ground that we could start working on. Um, now I want this ship to be able to take off, get into orbit, and maybe land on the moon, and then come back. Um, I'd also like to think about um, like to think about production, so it should have some degree of being able to refine minerals um, or construct components. It doesn't have to be fast, it certainly doesn't have to be on par with this, um, but just a couple of basics. So you could get enough together to make a, a full-scale refinery or an assembler. Um, it's going to certainly have to be able to provide us oxygen, uh, so we're going to have to have a good amount of storage it's going to need hydrogen thrusters so that we can get off the planet. So it's going to need big hydrogen tanks. And we're going to have to answer some question as to how it's supposed to collect uh, minerals. Okay, so lots of stuff it's going to have to do. So it's not going to be a big block ship. I think I want to make a kind of a big small block ship. Um, so we don't have to have everything but the kitchen sink, but you know sort of most of it or all of it we can fit. Um, gonna go ahead and start laying out 
Oh, I want to do this here now. I want to lay out kind of where the... Start with the chair, I guess. So, this doesn't much matter. Let's put uh, a little conveyor there. Kind of what I'm thinking here. Let's get just some tubes run back. That looks nice. Um, let's have uh, Igor stop working here. Or uh, the nanites, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> anybody watches um, Epic Tech will have caught what I just did. <laughs> Fantastic YouTuber. If you have not checked out uh, Epic Tech's uh, YouTube channel, you really owe it to yourself to do so. He makes some fantastic stuff, really. Um, and he calls uh, the Nanite Systems Igor. So if I ever, ever catch me calling it Igor, yeah, that's why. So this is Azimuth's open cockpit, and it's got um, connections for oxygen. So I want to use that. That looks kind of nice. Now I'm thinking maybe we'll have some, some screens laid around. Uh, in the cockpit, and uh, definitely uh, we'll we'll construct glass around it. And I think you should be able, should be able within reason, I think, to get up and walk around. Not, you know, huge, but maybe uh, you know, not as much foot room as you would expect in maybe the Millennium Falcon. You don't have a lot up there, but you can stand up and walk to the door at least. Not feel like you're pumping your head. So, okay, that's feeling good. Maybe a little bit out in the front. This doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just kind of sketching out. We're going to build the ship uh, from the inside out. Now you also notice I put the chair up a block. Now, I did that for a reason. So if we sort of lay out some blocks here, I'll show you what I mean. What I want, actually what I want, is none of that. Hmm, let's see. Maybe I did want some. Well, at any rate, what I want to use are these catwalks. So, if we get, yeah, that's what I want. See, we can tile the floor with catwalks like this. And they'll be, um, they won't be see-through like this when they're done. Yeah, like that. What that'll do for us is it'll allow us a little bit of breathing room when we want to run these conduits around. Because these conduits are going to be really important, these guys down here. They're going to carry items for us, they're going to carry oxygen. Um, and hydrogen, it, it, I, I just want to be able to account for a little crawl space so we can run those tubes in and walk on top. Then we'll probably have armor skin underneath, that makes sense. But I think that will do. Also thinking this middle structure should be, should be the internals. It should be the area you're walking around in. And we'll deal with the engines on maybe outriggers. Uh, like in the cells, like you would see in, uh, in Star Trek. So I'll lay some more of these out. This is feeling nice. Okay, so we've got a chair. I want to construct what might be the inside of the ship. I'm thinking maybe five wide. I don't want it to feel too tight for space. Then again, the larger we make it, the more weight we're going to have to haul up. Um, so, so let's see, maybe like this. And I was thinking for the walls, let's see, maybe we try it here. I think the walls should come up a little bit. And then, should have a bit of a curve to them. 
Maybe we use the light armor slopes to knock this back a little bit. Maybe I want that to be a little lower. So you could do all of this in uh, creative, of course. Um, and I can't exactly explain why I prefer to do it in this mode, but I do. It sort of feels a little, a little more real. Not sure how to explain that. Um, so let's put let's put a, a block here just for now. So we'll have armor or something on the outside of it eventually, but for the moment. Um, and then maybe maybe it should go up a little more. Oops. Be three up. What do you think? It's starting to look like something. And maybe we can stick another block there. Let's change the angle. Sometimes that makes it look nice. Put a 45 there. <coughs> there. That's starting to look like something, I think. Maybe it would have looked better with the... The double? Hmm. Sort of want to have... Ceiling... Well, let's see. Maybe a good question would be, what kind of door? we plan on using in this. Um, so I guess really the question here was how big are you? So you are one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yeah, five. And you're one, two, three, four, you're five by five. Okay. So we've got doors that are five by five. Our space here was five wide, that's cool. And how high did we end up going? One, two, three, four, five. All right, yeah, so I think that is reasonable. Let me go ahead and duplicate that on the other side. Um, and uh, we'll, start, we'll start framing some of this up. All right. So, what do you think? Does it look like a ship yet? No, what do you What do you mean, no? Okay. Well, I guess it does need some work. Kind of like how the floors turned out. That's great. We've got room underneath to run our uh, conduits or conveyors, rather. I like the the curves on the walls, and we might be able to fit in some. Um, glass ceilings that would be cool I want to add a lot of glass in the cockpit I want to have, have as much view around as we can hopefully uh, so let's look at some other um, toys maybe that we can add so there are things that I want to make sure we have in now I have this small ship mod pack this creates uh, small ship variants of of the uh, the large ship stuff. Some of the things that you wouldn't be able to get in small ships, like jump drives, for example. I don't want to use a jump drive in this ship. I want to build a large ship to use the jump drive. Um, but I did like the idea, where is it? Yeah, we've got refineries. We've got arc furnaces. We've got assemblers. What else might be nice? A uh, little gravity gen. Do, do, don't want to use a jump drive. What else? Mm -hmm. 
That's right, so we have the upgrade modules. So yield and speed. Might want to do something with oxygen. Merge block. Oxygen gen. We'll definitely need oxygen gen. Let's pull him out. Do, 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 do. I also want to think about cargo. Um, Azimuth's got some good choices. Could go small. Small is awful small. Uh, so maybe, maybe more like medium or even large. Okay, so we've got some things to lay out. Now I was thinking you probably will want cargo access here, right? So that makes sense. So we could work in easily enough one of these small cargo containers kind of embedded in the wall. Um, that would give you access to, quite frankly, wherever we hide the larger container. Um, I like that idea. Uh, we also might want to be able to access, uh, or see rather, the refineries. We could stick him in the wall. So he is... We want to do that. Pretty tall. Do I have access ports on the bottom? Don't want to stick him out that way. Huge. Can we sneak him in down here? Maybe. You don't really need to see him. Maybe we could sneak one in on either side like this. Um would be nice if we could get is there a yeah oh, I got an idea let's put it here right right okay so here look this is what we'll do we'll cut a hole here and we'll put the refinery right in front of it see because it's got that conduit on either side so we can put it right there and then we can run our conduit. I keep calling it a conduit, a conveyor. Run it right through here. Just like this. Spin him around. By the way, I'm not sure if you can hear that beeping. That's actually the beacon that we put on the underside of the ship. I wasn't aware that they beeped until recently, and quite honestly, I can't figure out how to turn the beeping off. So it beeps. There we go. So we've got the refinery laid in. That's cool. Oh my gosh, it's already built too. So now we should be able to take our tiny little yield modules. These things are so adorable. I like to have them spin around this way. Don't ask me why. I just like the way they look. There we go. And now we can tap off of this port to access our conduit network. Cool. So let me do that on the other side. Now we can put our assemblers in here and here, and they'll line up the way we wanted. Grab our speed modules, and now we should be able to put speed modules on all four sides of all the assemblers. Now we have a couple of refineries and a couple of assemblers. We are absolutely going to need power. Where is power going? Think about that. Let's take a look at our reactor choices. Now, page uh, four. Yeah, I've got room on page four. 
Now Azimuth makes this guy. He, I think, is the largest in terms of power output reactor we can have in a small ship. So let's go with him. He only has one plug, so why don't we put him in the wall? What do you guys think of this? Cut all of that out. You know, I wonder if that's going to be airtight. Ooh, what about a window? That might look cool. Um, let's see if we took... Can I not put a window? Oh, I mean... Oh, I see. It was the other way around. Uh, yeah. Let's see what that looks like. If we put a window there, and I guess I'm going to need some blocks off the top here, or I'm not going to be able to put the reactor down. It'll get stuck there once we're all done talking about. That might look really cool. It looks a little silly with the sunlight off of it, but. Yeah, with that lit up from the back. What do you guys think? We could close the uh, the corners off. You couldn't access it, but you couldn't access it from the front at any rate. I don't know. The medium seems a lot more appropriate, I think. This seems too big. What size is this? 101. And you are four times. Okay. So, let's say no on him. <clears throat> Just out of curiosity's sake, let's put a medium down. And let's put a large down. And let's just see what those look like. I honestly don't remember what the size is. This seems pretty reasonable. I could see working in... He was 101. And he's what? 3 by 3 by... 6. Okay. So what are you? 33. Okay. And... 156. Okay, I say we go with these guys. I think that's a pretty reasonable size there. I mean, maybe not exactly in that position. Um, I do like having an extra gap here to connect it. So we could connect it on the bottom, can't we? Okay, so if we took... This guy. Tuck him down in here. Yeah, that's looking good. Hold this up here. Let's go uh, dump our supply. Give ourselves a little bit. Do I not have plate? Of course not. Okay. Give ourselves a little space here. Mostly that's just for, you know, alignment. Uh, no, it was the smaller one. And it was, yeah, right there. Okay. So if you can kind of picture it from the inside out, it's 
just beginning to take a bit of a shape. I kind of like this. This is working really well here. Okay, how about this? Let's cut that and we'll add the T. Where's the T intersection? There it is. Not like this. We'll do this on the other side too. We'll add a lead out. Uh, let's come out one more so we're clear of that tank. Or the cargo there. Alright, so now let's take a look. We've got a couple of hydrogen tanks. So this is the quote-unquote small tank. It does not seem very small to me. Seems pretty big. And then there's the azimuth. No, <laughs> I don't actually know how much these hold. And I'll be honest, I'm not sure how to tell. Um, I'm going to have to figure that out. Do I not have a plate? Oh, it's got a block in the way. That's why it's not placing. It's just massive, that's why. There. I'm not sure exactly about the position, but that's sort of what I'm thinking. One really big tank like that. Let's not have you guys build this just yet. But I'm afraid I'm just about out of time here, so we'll have to take a think at how the engines might lay out next time. But I'm thinking having a big tank out the side like that, maybe a little further out, something like that, and then we'll get some of these larger, yeah, say like one of these tier four large thrusters. We'll stick them right on the back and on the front. We'll use um, Maybe some of the smaller thrusters for maneuvering up, down, and, and side to side. And then I want to grab maybe, not sure about large or not, but I'd like to grab maybe some of these atmospheric engines. We grab, say, of those. Something like that. Maybe a small one in between. And apparently by one I mean four. So essentially that, and we'll have we'll have hydrogen. Oh, you know what? This won't work. Let's put. I know I said we were going to design this next time, but yeah, we will. Let's put uh, these guys like this. Then we'll put, where are my little hydrogens? Yeah, so there's these tiny, well, tiny, small um, hydrogen thrusters that we can use for lateral up and down, which is why we went down to one large thruster here. Is there three wide? Uh, and it would have been right in the way of the thruster, uh, or the hydrogen thruster. Yeah, and maybe we run tubes out and, and add some armor around this so it's beefed up a little bit. I'm not sure. That's what I want to think about next time. But that is all the time we have for today. So thank you very much for hanging out with me. And uh, we will get this ship built and uh, check out the, the moon and the asteroids and get some good resources. All right. So 
Have a good one, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.